we know induction motor is generally operated through stator if induction motor is operated through rotor then we say it is inverted induction motor or rotor fed induction motor conventionally when it comes to slip ring we operate through stator but if you are asked a question to operate through rotor the analysis is like this whenever we apply three phase supply across a three phase winding rmf is produced which always rotates at synchronous speed if rotor contains a three phase winding if you apply a three phase supply across the rotor through slip rings immediately it will produce rmf rotating at ns this rmf cuts the stator induces voltage in the stator actually when stator fed rotor should be closed if it is rotor fed now stator should be closed otherwise operation can happen here think rotor is closed by default now let us imagine when the induction motor is stator fed f is the frequency across stator frequency in the rotor will be sf similarly if induction motor is rotor fed frequency across the rotor is f frequency in the stator will be sf one more thing is when the rotor is fed rotor produce rmf this rmf will cut the stator and it want to make the stator to rotate because when you apply voltage across stator stator rmf is cutting the rotor and making the rotor to rotate in a similar way when rotor is fed a voltage the rmf will cut the stator and want the stator to rotate but stator is a fixed part firmly fixed to the ground in this case inability to make stator to rotate the rotor rotate in the opposite direction that was the context here when the induction motor is rotor fed the rotor want to rotate stator but stator couldn't move the rotor itself rotates opposite to the rmf now then the analysis is actually stator frequency is sf so when the frequency is sf stator rmf means stator magnetic field with respect to a stationary point stationary point means stator is at sns reason is its frequency will be sf that's the reason if the frequency is f it would have been at ns if rotor is stationary if you apply frequency f rotor arm is at ns but now rotor is not stationary rotor is rotating in the opposite direction that's why rotor rmf with respect to stationary point let it be means stator is at ns if the rotor is stationary rotor rmf is at ns but rotor is rotating in the opposite direction so ns minus n which is sns now combine these two statements stator rmf with respect to stator rotor rmf with respect to stator r at sns slip speed common statement now absolute flux let us say stator rmf and rotor rmf with respect to a stationary point or a stator is at sns simple logic when 
a speed is at SNS. With respect to stationary point, with respect to stationary point, speed is at SNS. That is what you have written. Now, the same thing with respect to rotating point. Rotating point means if it rotate in the direction, we would have said SNS minus N, but this point is not rotating in the direction, it is rotating in the opposite direction to magnetic field. As the rotor rotates in the opposite direction to magnetic field, in this case, we have to say SNS plus N. What is SNS? ns minus n plus n then it is ns so finally in this question the speed of state of magnetic field with respect to rotor speed of state of magnetic field with respect to rotor anything stator magnetic field or rotor magnetic field with respect to rotor answer should be ns remember one simple logic stator magnetic field rotor magnetic field with respect to rotor in rotor fit will be at ns with respect to stator in rotor fit will be at sns remember that